Hello and welcome to our Cucina Rustica. My name is Pino Di Cervo. This is my mom. Filomeno Di Cervo. Now, if you love somebody, you buy them flowers. If you love somebody and you're hungry, you bring them a big bouquet of zucchini flowers or zucchini blossoms. Mom, I love you and I'm hungry. Why don't you say, why don't you say uh, we fry these up? Okay. Sounds like a good idea? Good idea. Stick, to, stick around, you're not going to want to miss this. Fried zucchini flowers. Fried zucchini flowers are very simple to make. I'm going to tell you the ingredients and then mom, you're going to make them because I can't make them as good as she does. Um, but let me tell you the ingredients. At least let me participate a little bit in this one. We have our zucchini flowers, our zucchini blossoms. We have uh, fine salt, flour, baking powder, uh, water, and our Aurora extra virgin olive oil and canola oil blend. Now, mom is going to show us how to clean the flowers and then uh, we're going to start frying them up. First thing we need to do is let's get our oil heated up, right mom? Yes. So it's nice and hot when you're ready to go. Yes. So we're going to add about I guess a third. Fill up the pot about a third of the way. You'd say we're coming with the stock. Okay, so that's about a third of the way up with the canola blend. Turn it on. And now we're going to start making the batter and clean the flowers. Okay, mom, show us how to clean the flour. It's really simple. Um, you do one, and then I'll do the rest, and then you could do the batter. All right, so that's how you do it. Just do it like this. Like this? Just like this? Okay. That's it. All right, I'll make sure I explain it. I have to get off of this too. Okay. Got it? Okay. All right, all right. That's easy enough. All right, so when you pick the zucchini flowers, zucchini flowers obviously grow on a zucchini plant. Now these are the flowers that grow from a stem, not the flower that grows at the end of the zucchini. So that's a big, uh, big difference there. So make sure you always get the one that grows off of the stem. Now we're taking off these little pieces of the flower because these are a little bit tough. Just cleaning them all around like that, very simple. Taking off a little bit of the stem and then inside you want to take off the, this part. Just take it off. There we go. Right mom? Yes. That's it. Now yes. she's going to make the batter and I'm going to continue cleaning this flowers. Okay? Okay. Now, Ma, let's mix up the batter. Now, very simple. Our flour, what do you want? The baking powder. Yes. Salt. The salt. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of black pepper. Black pepper really is the taste. You can put lots or a little bit and water. Yes. Now, Nona eyeballs this all the time for the full measurements. Visit our website, pinotdechervo.com. You want me to pour and you yes. stir? Okay. You say when. A lot of times you find like a batter like this, uh, people get fancy and they use champagne or club soda or even beer. We go old style, we go water, yeah. right? Like it was nice morning. <laughs> there you and go. Make it in there. <laughs> How's that? A little more water. A little bit more yeah. water? A little more. You really want a nice consistency and just enough to coat the flour. And I think we're gonna need more or we're good? A little bit more. A little bit more? Yeah. Okay, stop. Okay. And just whisk it the best you can. Get all the lumps out and wait till it's nice and smooth. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay, all done. All done, perfect. So we just kept on whisking it for about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, you want it nice and smooth. Look at this consistency. That's what you want to see. The full measurements, like I said, are on the website. And uh, that's about it. Now we're ready to put the, the flowers inside. Our oil is nice and hot. And here she goes. The flour inside, a little dredge like that. And then hear this, that, that oil's hot. The flour's gonna get nice and crispy. Oh, yes, make some more, mom, make some more, make some more. I know you like. Now, if you have a couple of lumps inside of your batter, don't worry. It's not like you're on a TV show and some judges and get angry because you have lumps in your batter. So don't worry about it. This is rustic style. All right, so getting ready, we have a plate lined with some paper towel, because these don't take very long at all. Probably about 30 seconds yeah. to a minute at the most. You want that nice golden brown color. Hold on, almost ready. All right, golden brown, gorgeous. Let's take those out, mom. Paper lined uh, plate, just to get extra, that extra oil off. Let them uh, cool down a little bit and dry off a little bit. Now, it's really tough, but you need to let them cool down because if you eat them right out of the hot oil, so that it's going gonna, it's gonna to burn your mouth. I've done it too many times. We're going to continue yeah, frying fun. these up and we're going to make a big plate, but I'm not going to wait. I'm going to have some now. So people ask me all the time, where do you get zucchini flowers? It's really zucchini hot. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, mom. I have it's to really wait. It's really hard to wait a little bit. Yes. All right, well, I have to say thanks to my dad because my dad every morning goes to our garden and picks out a big bundle of zucchini flowers for us. They have a very short uh, lifespan. So you get them early summer up until late summer. Uh, grocery stores, some have them, but specialty stores always have them and they're always in your farmer's market. Um, and if not, just plant a, just plant a zucchini plant and uh, get the flowers, all right? So we're gonna make a big plate of these. In the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy it. Dalla nostra cucina rustico, buon appetito.